Take a look at the character that you have just written. Is it a flat character or is it a round character? And how does that even impact the story that you're writing? Today, that is what we're going to talk about. Flat characters versus round characters. Hey everybody, this is Elliot. Welcome to another episode of the Other Epic Story Vlog. This is my dog, Michael. He is very grumpy that I am filming this video today. So I hope you all appreciate what is happening, all right? Because he sure doesn't. Today, I wanna to talk about flat characters versus round characters, which this concept was first introduced by E.M. Forster in his work, Aspect of a Novel. In it, he talks about when you're writing, you're often creating two different types of characters, flat characters and round characters. So let's break it down. Let's start with flat character. A flat character is simple enough to understand because they can often be described with one sentence. Let's take James Bond for example. James Bond, I say James Bond and it's so easily recognizable. We understand what he looks like, how he's dressed, and what his objectives are, which is often to you know, solve a mission of some sort. That is his goal. He doesn't really have anything deeper than that. From the beginning to the end of a James Bond story, he doesn't really develop in any significant ways. He just goes about, you know, fighting bad guys and solving the mission that he has. And that is okay because that is the story being told. It's not about James Bond's personal struggles. It's about the mission at hand. When you think about crafting the story that way, it makes sense that James Bond is a flat character, that he is developed in that way, and that he's so easy to recognize. Next, let's talk about round characters. Round characters can surprise and delight us. They're unpredictable, yet still convincing in their way. It reminds me a lot of a lot of my friends. They're round characters. People in real life, they're round characters because Every time you sit down and you talk to them, you, you don't really know what they're gonna say or what they're up to. They have all these different goals and so much goes into constructing one of these human beings, yet they're always in character, right? You never know what you're gonna talk about with your friends, but they're always, you know, they're, they're predictable and unpredictable in the same way. They still have their quirks, but you can't really sum them up with one sentence, there's so much more. And like my friends, round characters are flawed and they're constantly changing. A good example of a round character is from Frederick Bachman's A Man Called Uva. Uva, this character, this curmudgeon old man. He's angry at his neighbors, he's frustrated about new technology, uh, he's depressed because his wife is no longer around. He's a very complex, character. You can't really sum him up with just one word. You could say curmudgeon old man, but that doesn't really get to the core of what he's going through. And, and that story that Uva goes through is very different from a James Bond story. <laughs> and while one story can rely on flat characters, another one can't. Another needs to dive deep into this character's personal struggles. And one way to understand what type of story you are telling is to Take your story, list out all the characters that you have, and write out all the objectives of each character. And that way, you begin to understand where it all links together and what is the most important goal for each character. And from there, you could dive even deeper into each character's personalities. So in my story, I highlighted two characters that I wanna talk about and just maybe try to understand whether they are round or if they are flat. So the first character I want to look at is Bernard Barnwell, who is this farmer, who is this father, and he's worried each year this thief comes into his farm and steals all their stock. So that is, is his main concern. I could leave it as that. He could be a flat character. So every day he wakes up, he goes to work, he deals with the stock, he talks to his family, ends it. And he's constantly stressed about this thief potentially stealing his family and his town's food. But I don't want him to necessarily be a flat character. I want us 
to learn more about him. So when this new stranger arrives into town and Bernard has to act upon it, decide whether to trust him or not to trust him, and that leads to the potential to surprise the reader. What is he going to pick? What is he going to choose? Suddenly, he becomes a round character. I feel like for a lot of my stories, I start out with a flat character and then I round them out as the story goes. And it's very much the same with another character that I have, Frank Elias, who is this boy sheriff and he inherits this gun from his family only to have it stolen on his first day at, on the job. So he becomes very disgraced and he's very complex. He is definitely a round character as well. While I don't have too many flat characters in the story that I'm working on, there's one that I can think of and that's Blair Barnwell, Bernard's son. The story isn't really focused on him and he, he certainly isn't a minor character. He is there, but uh, a flat character doesn't often mean a minor character and vice versa. What's interesting about Blair in terms of being a flat character is that he's only focused on one thing. Every time we talk to him, he's just this spoiled kid who wants to travel the world. He wants nothing to do with his family anymore. And that is his objective from beginning of the story to the end. As soon as we learn about him, we could easily picture this kid in our minds and he stays true to his way very much even though a lot of different circumstances happen that is his main goal and he really doesn't have any other ones all everything else that he does kind of connects to it and to me that's like yeah he's a flat character but there's always room to develop them more in as you write but depending on how this character serves the story you might decide not to. You might just leave him as a flat character, the same way James Bond is, and all you wanna do is focus on the story and the action at hand, and not actually dive too deep in what the character wants. All right, that is the main difference between flat and round characters. I hope you found this video helpful. If you want more writing, editing, world building tips and tricks, um, check out the rest of my channel, and if you like it, please subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Alright. Alright, Michael. Wanna say goodbye to everybody? Alright. We're done here.